Today is the 16th of August 2023 and I would like to um, recap on what we've learning about sample space diagram and do a few questions with you okay before I begin the lesson I would like to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting our channel and watching our videos thank you very much if our videos are helping you please subscribe share like and follow us depending on which platform you are following us on so for instance youtube you can subscribe share and like okay with, with rumble you can follow us you can like us like our video and share okay if you are on uh, facebook you can also share it you can tweet it as well okay so any way you can help um put the videos out so they can help somebody else it will be very much appreciated i normally write please follow my notes slash script in the comment section because um when i finish recording i watch it upload it and watch it again at times even two or three times to make sure that um everything i've put out there um, is right and at times i realize that and um, for instance this is two coin okay which should be coins okay so assuming i want to say two and you guess head coins please for, go by two coins if i want to say one coin and a dice and you hear um a one die and a coin okay it's the same thing but you can follow the script okay so um it is it, it is that um for instance this is three it's three on its own okay but in some of the videos um assuming i wanted to say percentage and I accidentally said three or maybe degrees or uh, what depending on the topic we are doing and i'm explaining that is what on the script go by what is on the script okay i'll thank you very much for that third thing scammers beware of scammers they are on the rise okay don't give your money to somebody and think it's coming to me or to um with my videos if somebody says please send me money um to support this channel in making videos please don't it's not me okay if somebody says send them money under this platform to give to an orphanage a charity sent to somewhere with their account number it's, it's not me if somebody send you a friend request and is chatting with you uh, and you accept it so that they can have access to your messenger it won't be me okay if you leave a nice comment on our page i will go there and say thank you or you are welcome depending on what you want to uh, tell us but beyond that i wouldn't be 
sending you messages with account numbers, foreign numbers to be sending us money. So please beware, okay? If it's not coming from me in our videos, then it's not me, okay? If I want to raise money for some fire read area somewhere, um, I might do, consider donating myself, okay? But I wouldn't just say, can everybody um, donate uh, and send you messages badging you? I won't do that, okay? I've had a few people complain to me about that. Please, don't fall for this. The scam is, is not me. Thank you very much on that. Okay, with our recap, we've been doing sample space diagrams. Okay, yesterday I helped you fill a two way table um, about an animal shelter with cats, dogs, and hamster. Okay, and it was a good way to introduce. And the space diagram. So we did a space diagram for two coins, which was easy. Then we went ahead, challenged ourselves. We did a coin and a die, which was also um, it might be easy to sum and might not. And then we did the two dice. Okay, so I have just. Uh, redrawn the one with the two dice here yeah. okay here you are I encourage you yesterday to go and um, pause it draw your table and fill it because the chances it is if you can do it yourself on your own then under exam condition you should be able to do it. And the more you learn on your own, the better. So when you watch the video and you see a question, watch it, see how it is solved. You can copy the question out and then go and try it. If you can't do it, you come back and watch the video, see where you've missed it and try and learn that part okay so that in case you go to an SR room and a similar question happen because math is similar okay the questions are identical they might change numbers but the wording the things are identical so if you know the principles then uh, you are on a safe spot okay you should learn to see a question and then know what to do to uh, get your answer. And basically, that is math. So, that is our table. Okay. And then we spoke about mutually exclusive events. So, there is only one possible outcome. Okay, I explained yesterday, it will not all happen at the same time. Okay, it's either this or that, not both, not all. Okay, so if you throw two dice, you can get one and a one. But you can get one and one, and then two and two at the same time. Okay, a throw will give you one outcome so that is basically a mutually exclusive event okay therefore if you have two mutually exclusive events a and b pro the probability of a or the probability of b occurring is a or b equals probability of a plus probability of b okay we did that yesterday we saw an example yesterday 
So now let's look at this example here. If you throw a die, okay, this is one die, no two. It hasn't got a coin, just one. Okay. What is the probability of getting an odd number? Okay. Or a six. Okay. So you throw a die. What is what are odd numbers? One, three, and five. So the probability of getting an odd number in a throw of a die is three out of six because you have three possible outcomes. They are mutually ex exclusive. So if you throw a die, you can get a one, but you can't get all these three happening at the same time. Okay, but the probability of an odd number occurring because you have three odd numbers on the die okay you have three out of a total outcome of six i hope uh, it makes sense now what is the probability of getting a six a six there is only one six on a die okay so the outcome of getting a six is one out of six okay so the probability of an odd number or a six okay this is all or a six okay is three out of six that is the probability of odd number plus one out of a six because these are mutually exclusive events they are not all going to happen at the same time one can occur only one at a time not both okay so since the denominators okay are the same and this are fraction we only add the numerators okay so six three add one is four okay four out of six is two out of a three so if you throw a die okay and because it's mutually exclusive you can only have the probability of getting an odd number and a six okay is th three over two okay now let's continue with what so um we want to revisit um our space a sample space diagram for the two dice and use it to solve this question okay what I said to you yesterday is if you can do a sample space diagram for the question they've told you to do then it's easier to um, find the answer basically okay but if you don't do that and you want to do something else you must you will be muddied and in the end you might have to do it again and under exam condition is stressful so something you could have scored five marks on or scored the whole marks for the um question you end up panicking leaving that question and then with the difficult questions too you end up not stressing out not doing them properly so in the end you lose marks here and there and that's why people get low marks okay so now 
here is the question if you throw two dice what is the probability so even if this question is on its own without a sample uh, and they are not asking me to do a sample space diagram i will quickly do one on the side okay so that i can use it to figure out my outcome okay that's why i had to redraw it again today so if you throw two dice what is the probability that the outcome is two identical numbers okay or a score of a total of seven okay two identical numbers is one and one two and two three and three four and four and five and five this part without the space diagram you can figure that out but if you look at your space diagram it is clear look one and one two and two three and three four and four five and five six and six so if i lift the phone up a bit you have one two three four five six okay so the probability of getting um two identical numbers here is six out of a total outcome of 36 because with a sample space diagram and a two dice you have 36 outcomes so straight away you've solved the first part okay you solved the first part so now you have six out of 36 here this is not my final as i answer so i'm not going to reduce it yet in case i need the denominators so that i can use the fractions to do the quick addition okay because we know in the end we'll have to add the second part of the question says um two identical numbers which we've done or a score of a total of seven now if i look on the table to get a score of a total of seven okay it's one six okay so die one one two, die two six two five three four four three five two five one so you have two dice so let's go back to the table okay so here is what i'm talking about yesterday when i did the table i did d2 d1 but what it means here is this is die two and that's one okay so here is die two die one so the first die the second die will give me a six the first one will give me a one total of seven this second die the first one total of seven total of seven total of seven total of seven and total of seven the rest if you look on the table they don't it's only this diagonal strip that gives me that if you can look so under exam condition i will use my felt tape or if i have a coloring thing and just draw a straight line across 
So I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six possible outcomes. So here again, I have six out of 36 from the diagram, okay, that we saw yesterday that I've brought back because of the question. Okay, so to have a total of seven on two dice, you have six out of 36. Okay, if you don't do the sample space, you might end up thinking, oh, one, six, two, five, three, four, and then you stop there. You say three out of 36, and then you are wrong. Okay, because this is the first die, second die, first one, second one, first one, second one, first one, second one, first one, second one. First one, second. You need all the possible outcomes. So now you have six out of 36. Okay. So we said mutually, these are mutually exclusive events. Okay. But they're asking you to find the probability of these two identical numbers or a total of seven. So now that you know these are the possible outcomes, you have six possible outcomes for identical numbers and another set of six possible outcomes for a total of seven. Now we found the probabilities. Okay, it's 36 because there is a total of 36 outcomes if you throw um, two dice okay so now we add as we learned yesterday so 6 over 36 plus another 6 over 36 so this will be 12 over 36 which is equal to one third okay so with our probability we start we did some probability which was just basic okay then we started again we did a full recap of what we've learned and then we went on ahead to show you a two-way table and then we introduced a sample space diagram we've explained um, and see what uh, mutually exclusive events are okay and then we solve some questions so um this question can come but what i want to say is even if it doesn't come this way even if they say find the probability that adds up to a score of um, 14, okay, you can do that because you have all the possible outcomes. You've made a table and you can systematically see all the possible outcomes. If they say a probability of... Um, your first die being an even number you can do that from the table okay but without the sample space diagram you might not be able to figure out it out and then you know there's a total outcome of 36 and then you end up losing those uh, marks okay so um today this is guess what i have for you okay go and have a look okay and then look at the question there are chances that maybe you have a question of your own 
that you want to um have a look that you, you don't really understand how to solve it have a look and tr use this what i've shown you look on the table or do your own table and use it to break down the question and solve it yourself okay thank you very much for watching our videos for today and i'll see you next lesson